The message from Irish Water is that they'll start taking it from uh, incomes, but they're not saying what they have to do in order to do that. So we should reassure people that it's very unlikely that this will go through, uh, that in any case there has to be a means test and the deductions would be minimal. Irish Water don't have direct powers of deduction. They would have to take people individually to court involving individual means tests in order to get attachments to earnings to take the charge directly from uh, incomes. They can only do the, that from the spring and summer of 2017. Um, with 45 to 50% not paying, that's 700 to 800,000 people, a minimum of 700,000 people. It's simply not possible for the court service to process that number of people. It will jam up the court service. <laughs> It's, it's, it's great to see kind of so many people out here just before an election to ensure that this issue, water charges, is a major issue in the forthcoming election. And I'm calling on everybody to come out and vote against the water charges during the election campaign. No way! The boycott is very substantial. The retreat by the government or the proposed retreat uh, extending the period of reduced charge from 2019 to 2021 uh, indicates that the government parties believe that they can't enforce this charge, that the boycott is much more substantial than Irish Water is saying. No way! No way! We won't pay! No way! Um, Alan Kelly has said that he only gives 5% of his time now to Irish Water and the right to water campaign and the water issue. We want to prove today they want to start taking up more time in it because it's becoming one of the biggest issues in this election along with the other critical issues facing people in this economy. It's also the to remind that Pepsi government that this water issue won't go away despite what Alan Kelly says. We're here to change that government if we possibly can and we're here to remind them that the people of Ireland own the water, not them. It looks to me that at least 40, 40 to 45% uh, of the population will continue non-payment after the elections. I think it's a really solid, substantial base from which to build and we should be as inclusive as possible in doing that. We have Irish Water on the ropes. Uh, they lo lost money last year. Four in ten people have never paid any water charges. We've got to knock them out with three blows, the boycott, the protests and use the election to start a political revolution. We are delighted to be here. It's a while since we've been on the streets and uh, there's a great buzz here today. So we're making our way up to the GPO now and meeting the Northsiders on the way, so that's going to be a moment. And uh, we're looking forward to the next one, which will be more important, the Saturday before the general election. It's going to be a national demonstration, so from all over the country, we stop the canvassing for the day and we come up to Dublin to tell the government, no way, we're not paying water charges to cover the toxic bank debt from Europe. We've done enough of that.